8, and Hurricane Matthew is now a Category 3 storm with 115 mile per hour winds. That was a little unexpected. It was supposed to only reach a Category 2. Now the maximum sustained winds forecast are going to be 120 miles per hour. We are waiting for Matthew to take a right-hand turn. Right now it is riding the Bermuda High, underneath the Bermuda High, which is a clockwise uh, system. And once it gets to the edge and goes north, that's when we'll know better its track right now. It's going to hit Cuba, southeast Cuba, around Tuesday, move into the Bahamas. Unfortunately, southeast, southeast Florida is right on the edge of the five-day cone of error. Um, now we should note that the five-day cone of error has a 240-mile radius of error. So that cone could change, and we need to stay vigilant this weekend. Don't um, keep paying attention because that could change a lot by Monday, and you don't want to be caught off guard. The National Hurricane Center had a press uh, briefing this morning, and the, the director of the National Hurricane Center said, look, if you didn't do things by June 1st, you might want to think about getting your water and maybe some supplies together. Do not board up your house. Um, I asked earlier this year, um, James Franklin, he's the hurricane specialist at the National Hurricane Center, when he boards up. And um, his rule of thumb is when the hurricane, when the percent of hurricane uh, force winds reaches 5 to 10 percent in your area, he'll start to board up. Now, there is a graphic on the National Hurricane Center's website that shows you um, what percentage chance of wind you're going to get tropical storm force and hurricane force. Right now, we're in about a 5% chance of uh, tropical storm force winds by day five, so that would be about Wednesday. Um, the National Weather Service also had a briefing this morning. They said the same thing. Guaranteed, we're probably going to have high seas. Um, they're considering up to eight feet near the coast. Uh, that'll be Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, Matthew is not unusual for this time of year. In fact, Florida is most vulnerable to hurricanes in October. Um, since 1900, we've been hit by 27, and the most um, nearest state to that is Louisiana, which has only had about five. Now, that has to do with what's going on in the atmosphere as we move toward winter. The wind shear comes down and cuts off some of the, the storms that are rolling off of Africa, so we're not seeing them form anymore. They form more in the Caribbean, and sometimes they get into the Gulf of Mexico. And then what's interesting is the low pressure systems that you see coming down in the wintertime pick that up and throw it against Florida, and that's what happened with Wilma. So that was a classic storm. Um, we all remember Hurricane Wilma. Don't want to repeat that this year.